Garden. Today we're going to continue talking about what it means for something to be one less than another number. We're going to start with our stepping chart like we've been working on before. Now we know that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks. Do we know what one less than ten is? Remember, we want to practice on our hands by saying one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One less would be, zoop, if I put one finger down, oh, I'm really trying to hold this one up, but you all know that's really hard for me. So then I would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's see if that's what we have on the chart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One less than 10 is nine. Now, one less than nine, Whew, that's so much easier to hold up on my fingers. One less than nine is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One less than nine is eight. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one less than eight is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's check. Eight, one less is five, six, seven. Good. One less than seven is five, six. Let's see. Well, I know this is a stack of five and I have one more, so that makes six. Now, let's see. One less than six is five, which is so easy to see. And we have one, two, three, four, five. One less than five is four. One, two, three, four. One less than four is three. One, two, three. One less than three is two. One, two. And one less than two is one. And one less than one is zero. So we can count backwards and go like this. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We can also say 10. One less is 9. One less is 8. One less is 7. One less is 6. One less is 5. One less is 4. One less is 3. One less is 2. One less is 1. Now, just like before, we want to practice making these circles so we can see how different they look with our blocks. If you have blocks, you can actually make these circles too. The first one is with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But now let's make one with our 9 stack. Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. See how it still makes a circle, but it's a little smaller. Let's try with 8. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's getting smaller. We might need to scooch all of our little bars over soon. There we go. Now we have 10, 9, 8, so this should be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Our circle is getting smaller and smaller. One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four. Now it's not looking so much like a circle anymore. One, two, three, one, two, and one. So as you can see, our circles get smaller and smaller and smaller as we have fewer blocks until it can't really be a circle anymore. Pretty interesting to think about. In today's problem set, you're gonna count all of the objects, write the number in the first box, then you're gonna count all the objects that are white, and you're gonna write that number in the second box. So we'll say, for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one less than eight is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See, there it is. You're gonna do that for this whole page. Over here, you're gonna count and write how many, and then you're gonna draw one less and write how many. We've been practicing that a little bit. Alrighty, I hope you all are ready for our small groups this afternoon. Great job, kindergarten. You all are doing amazing with these numbers.